My name is Kaya Henderson, and I'm a proud alum of Georgetown University. I feel like I sort of blossomed and um, came into my own on the need to serve others uh, out of my experience here at Georgetown. She's just a person who, when you're in her presence, makes you feel like you are a very good friend to her. You, you know, I have never interacted with Kaya for longer than about 30 seconds before seeing her smile. Some of my best friends in the world today are my Georgetown friends. I found an amazing, diverse community, um, a great African-American community that kind of nurtured me and supported me. I came to Georgetown thinking that I would join the Foreign Service or work for the CIA. And then I figured out what the CIA sort of really does. <laughs> And I decided that that's not what I wanted to do. And at the time that I joined, Teach for America was two years old. And I looked into it, and it kind of clicked with my values and what I wanted to do. And if you didn't have a teaching degree in the early 90s, Teach for America was the only way to get uh, into the teaching profession. And so I did it, and it changed my life. I've done everything from teaching in a classroom to running a school district of 50,000 kids. And those first two years of teaching were hands down harder than being a chancellor of DC public schools. Kaya, in her own right, was a true trailblazer. We got a lot of work done. We accomplished so much. I mean, increased graduation rates, increased enrollment, fastest growing urban school system in the nation. You name it, we did it. What enabled Kaya to be the most successful school's chancellor in modern history in the District of Columbia was she never forgot that the fundamental priority, the means by which she would frame her day, was what was in the best interest of the children of the District of Columbia. I would say all the time, these are not my schools, these are our schools, the city's schools. And so we have to talk to citizens to understand what they want for schools and be responsive to them. When you speak to Kai, you see her passion, you see her enthusiasm, and it becomes intoxicating to be around her. And like, she motivates you to want to do better. When she became chancellor, she asked me, would I create a principal's academy, an EML, the Executive Master's in Leadership Program, for her principals? And I said, yeah, absolutely. This hope, this belief that you can accomplish something is, I think, even more important than having the technical skills or the know-how. You can find capacity. You can buy capacity. You can develop capacity. But you have to believe that you can get to where you're trying to go. And I think that's part of my special magic, right? I help people believe in what's possible. It's not that you hear Kaya speak, like you are literally so excited and so enthusiastic that you are willing to run through the walls of DCPS to make it happen for children. And what I've seen more than anything is truly inspired school leaders now truly inspired teachers, and I think that has translated itself into inspired students. From the beginning to the end, the best word to describe Kaya, she's a leader. She understands the nature of leadership, what's demanded of leaders, the responsibility of leadership. One of my favorite quotations of Chancellor Henderson was, um, I do not judge my leadership by how many people are following me. I judge my leadership by how many people are leading below me. And I try, I try my best to model my leadership after hers. Uh, and many, there are many people who think like that. Uh, she brings passion. She brings joy. I mean, her smile lights up the room. In fact, one of the things about Kaya, both as a student but also as chancellor, was when you're in her presence, you feel uplifted. What we did at DCPS wasn't just about this city. It was about um, reminding people across the country and even across the world that public education is a democratic value that we hold dear. You know, at the end of the day, you can take away the awards, you can take away the title, you can take away the accolades, and she still is an amazing, wonderful person. And that's the person that I'm proud to know, um, and the person that I'm extremely proud to call my friend. You know, you think about it, it's one thing to get respect from your subordinates or respect from your colleagues. But when you get respect, universal respect from your peers, now that's saying something. While serving as, as school's chancellor, we thought that Kaya could make an invaluable contribution to Georgetown by serving as a member of our board of directors. 
And I don't think you could have any better representation than Kaya. I think Georgetown certainly hit the jackpot um, in terms of selecting Kaya as an alum. Uh, I think as the African-American community, we hit the Powerball. I mean, literally, Georgetown calls me for anything, and the answer is always yes, because um, this place made me, and I owe it. 